Hello everyone. Welcome back to Shades of Radiology. Today I'm going to discuss a classic case of adenomyosis and its salient features. Let us see first about the case. This is a sagittal T2 weighted image in the mid-sagittal plane. This is the axial T2 image and this is the T1 fat set image. So you can clearly see the entire uterus is showing globular enlargement and asymmetric thickening of anterior and posterior myometrium. You can see multiple tiny cystic T2 hyperintense areas in as sagittal as well as axial images. Coming to T1 fat set image, you can see few T1 hyperintense foci, which is suggestive of hemorrhagic foci or nothing but endometrial glands. So, this is a case of classic adenomyosis. So, adeno means ectopic endometrial glands, meiosis is muscular hyperplasia or hypertrophy. So, this is the classic imaging feature of adenomyosis. So, along with the ectopic endometrial tissue, the myometrium will be showing hyperplasia. MRI will be showing thickening of junctional zone. Here you can see the junctional zone is merged with the along with the thickening of the myometrium, which is usually more than 12 mm and ill-defined, ovoid or diffuse region of thickening. So, in this case, it is a diffuse adenomyosis. Sometimes there might be focal adenomyosis and small high T2 signal regions which represent the small areas of cystic change and the foci of high T1 signal is nothing but a menstruating endometrial gland which is present in the myometrium. So this is the T1 fat set image showing hyperintense foci and ultrasound will show various features like subendometrial striations, subendometrial cysts, asymmetric diffuse bulky uterus like as if we are seeing similar to that in MR and venetian blind sign. You will be seeing an alternate hyper and hyperechoic shadows posterior to the myometrium. And HSG may show diverticula which is extending into the myometrium from the endometrial cavity. So these are the classic features of adenomyosis with classic case of example of MR adenomyosis.